Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. So we're here again at the African Wild Dog Exhibit, and obviously I've done the little fence part, you know, saves a little bit of time doing it on camera. Uh, I've just gone with the ring fence, I've gone with carpet on top, I don't know, I don't know what it looks like. I think it gives it an edge, of some sorts, because like this glass one here, you know, does kind of have a natural edge. Uh, and that one doesn't, I don't know, this one just does, looks a little bit empty, it looks realistic. It's a little bit empty, and I didn't think that would work quite as well for um, the dog side. I don't know. I think it looks different. Obviously, it's quite a dark, seemingly dark exhibit, this one. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to be doing like the minor details and stuff like that. So let's grab some grass, ferns, dead bushes, and uh, what's the other one? Put that down. Mm, that one. That one right there, the shrub, which is, I think, just a dead bush. It's not. No, it's not. It's not a dead bush. But it kind of has the same thing. So we can put like little ferns and stuff. And I remember now, I've actually done some variations in these so that you do get cactuses every so often. Which I don't know if that really works in this, but. Mm. But we're just going to do like the little minor details uh, this episode and and see how or where we get to. We're going to get all this stuff. Well, that'll do for that dead bush. So I've got that one. Now I can put this around as well. I don't want to go too crazy with it again. I'll try and make it feel a bit dry, but not super duper dry. There we go, so if I get those. Actually, these could be hyenas rather than African dogs. <laughs> I think about that, because I do need to get some hyenas in this. No, I think we'll have them as African dogs. Because that's what it started off as. That's my plan. We'll do hyenas somewhere else, which will look almost exactly like them. <laughs> and it will. There's no way that I can make them look any different, really. Hyenas and African dogs, they're going to look like the same thing. So it's either that or we do a dual one, but I kind of want to have... I don't feel like it, but yeah, I mean, this will work. It'll be fine. There we go, so get that. These as well. And actually, hyenas are more desert animals, aren't they? They actually are more desert rather than savannah, I think. African dogs are savannah. Yes, they are. Right, okay, so we get that. It's going to have like a little bit of... Probably not actually those. Not even spruce, but maybe some dark oak. Alright, there we go. Just gonna have like little bits of shrubbery around. Uh, that looks a little bit unnatural, but we can have that there. Like that. And I'm gonna have the food trough as well, because obviously that's quite important. As well as some water, we need like a natural source of water somewhere. I mean, it doesn't have to be fully natural, does it? But we go. We can have this in here. That'd be food. That'd be filled with food. Imagine that. That looks really weird to me. It almost looks like it's got some shadows on it. That kind of does, actually. Anyway, that's me getting mesmerised by that thing. Um, water. We could do actually be over here or something. Or this tree. Oh, that's definitely not water. Right. I guess I'll have like that there. That'll give us a nice source of water. There we go. So then they've got that. We can do that. And put those down. Like that. Oh, that's good. Where else? I think we need some more bushes and things around. So maybe just have some, even if they're just on these edge pieces here. Just to fill this up. So the minute you kind of like look through and, and you just see. No, it's, not, it's just not interesting, or not that interesting. You know, if it's just to cover up this. Fine. Okay, we got there. And then another one up this side. Uh, eh, nice and messy. Okay. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Kind of dry, but also a little bit temperate. So that's good. Okay, so the actual African dogs themselves. This is going to be a bit difficult. I don't really know what... Because they kind of have this really interesting um, fur. Like, really, like, speckled type fur. And I don't really know how to do it, I'll be honest. Um, what else have we got? Have we got any of these that'll work? It's not really... Yeah, those, those will make it look like high... In... Well, they won't they'll make it look like cheetahs. But, um... Too scaly, isn't it? That's definitely too scaly. 
Yeah, see, none of these are really going to work. Not the way that I'll really want them to work. No, none of these will really work. I think the, the easiest one to do is just brown wool. And then we're also going to have, you know, the simple little legs. <laughs> simple legs. And what else are we going to have? Um, well, obviously the player head and the tail of some kind. So I'm going to go with the lever tail this time. And I've already got a head for this, luckily. I can find it. And I did have it. Wow, well, there we go. So it's um, Fennekin. Fennekin will give you this type of head, it's, which is actually from Pokemon. It's an Eevee head, so it's a really super cute head. But, um, I don't know, I think it just works. <laughs> it's just like the closest I got to a dog one. So don't judge, guys, don't judge. It's not my fault. Right, that's going to be huge. I do like that. So maybe what I'll do instead, actually, and this might actually work a lot better. Um, is use my slabs, or, or I can just use wooden ones. I could just use normal wooden ones, couldn't I? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just have some normal wooden ones with that, and then I'll have to, yeah, I have to world edit that on. But that's fine. So we go for that. Put that on there. Just do that. There you go. <coughs> yeah, it's weird. Raised in the air thing. That kind of works, doesn't it? <laughs> This is one of the things that I absolutely love about the series. It it makes the, some of the derpiest things I've ever seen in Minecraft, but it's so cool at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me that likes it. I think some of you guys like it as well. Like, come on, my Mario... Um, what's it called? It's my Mario... Um, Warhogs. They are genius. They are just so amazing. Right, anyway, so we've got one of them there. One on there, maybe we'll have another one. They're, probably, they're pack animals, aren't they? So we'll have one actually here. On the rock. So he's going to be on the rock. So at least this part you guys can do at home. Except for the uh, tail part, that's the only bit that you're really missing. That's not too bad. There right, so we got that. There we get that. Okay. Let's get a couple of those. <laughs> yeah, this looks so cute, doesn't they? Uh, we're going to have like one that's just like around this area for some reason. It's like hidden in the bush a little bit. Not really hidden, but you know what I mean. Over on this side, and then... Grab that one. Up there. There you go. Nice and easy, really. There we go, that's what we get. Now I think we've actually got just absolute shed tons of time. Now one of the things I've re I have really been meaning to do is put up a sign. So, I need to start doing these. So I've got African Wild Dogs. Okay, and then what I'm planning on doing is I'll go on to Zoo Tycoon 2 and I'll get all the star ratings for each of them. Because on Zoo Tycoon 2, they have actually got proper star ratings um, for each animal. Which is really cool. So there we go, we'll get this here, we'll get Meerkats. Everybody loves Meerkats. Get some meerkats, and so here we get the ostriches, or oh, ostrich. I don't know how you do plural. I don't know if it's an es or whatever, because it sounds a little bit German. So, yep. Okay. So then over here we have. Let's so we'll put this one up a little bit higher. Baboons. <laughs> I love baboons. I guess we get some baboons there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got ostriches, yeah. We've got the lion. Oh, obviously, we've got the lions. Um, and I've obviously credited um, Let's Lente there as well. So, we're going to have over here. There we go. Lions. Awesome. Now, over here. And I'm so glad that I put in that road now because it actually it's a lot smaller than I thought I would have. So that's good. It's good that I didn't build, you know, overbuild. Right, over here, we're going to just have elephants, or African elephants. We actually need to really say that they're African elephants. Because there is obviously Asian elephants, or Indian elephants as well. And they are quite a bit different, actually. Quite amazing, really, how nature's got, you know, the same but different, isn't it? But I think that's with everything, every type of life. Um, now this rhino, do I want to say about the rhino? Do I... Do I? I don't know. I don't know how many animals we've got either. I don't know if anybody's been counting. We've got quite a few. Oh, I love these. 
These are just the derpiest things ever. They are brilliant. There we go, sir. <laughs> warthogs. Yeah. Gotta love the warthogs. Um, now these... No, not those. These. These are going to be like antelope. And... Um, the other things. <laughs> antelope. And what are they ever... Why are the other things called that are really good? Thompson's Gazelles, there you go. That would work. Enter. Loop. And. Gazelles. There you go, Antelopes and Gazelles. So it's Thompson Gazelles and it's like Giant Sable Antelope. Whoa, I actually remembered something. I must actually be learning things from this, uh, this, this like season series. Series? Not series. Uh, where the hell am I going to put the sign for this? Because you can hardly see any of them. I think it's going to have to be over here. Yeah, it's going to have to be there. So we go. Look at the sheep-faced zebras. There we go. Zebras. There we go. Like that. And then I think the only other one we got really is... The giraffes. And I think I'll hide the... The rhino, in a way. You know, don't don't set this there. But there we go. Only got a couple drafts, but it's still pretty good. I okay, guess so let's get that. But now that we've done that, at least we can start to um you know, let's lay them out. Obviously the spider house, I think that's already named. Uh these have gone really yellow now. I didn't realise they were that yellow. Um but I think the spider house has now been all named up. Sure, it has already. Yep, so the arachnid house that's the one. Um, that's all been named anyway. So we've got the, those, so we've got this nice like area starting to form now around this bit. Um, I actually quite like the meerkat one because it's, it's nice and small, so we've got a nice mix of like what would be quite a main attraction, which is lions. Everybody loves seeing lions, so I don't know why, but I mean, they are awesome. But I like meerkats, they're freaking cool. <laughs> um, there we go, so we've got the African wild dogs. So obviously we're just going to continue expanding, and I might, I'm going to definitely cut this area in a bit more, I think, to give us a bigger area for like camels and stuff. Um, we could do, or possibly do, cheetahs next, and give them like a weird L-shaped bit that will cut into here. Um, but I'll have a look. I'll have a look at what we've got left. I know that we've got like wildebeest to do of, of this type. I mean, what I mean by what we've got left is what I've got left of the savannah um, African animals. So we get all of those in the in the same place, and then we can move on to another area and a new set of animals, and it'd be really cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that episode. That's the African Wild Dogs exhibit all finished up. If you did enjoy it, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.